In today's video, guys, I'm going to show you how we can optimize our CPU in order to get better performance in Fortnite, the best launch options which you should put 100% into your Epic Games and which ones you shouldn't, by the way, and also how you can check your RAM for any potential errors. Overall, this is going to help you to improve your performance in Fortnite so much more. And with Fortnite being heavily CPU-based, guys, we gotta make sure that we optimize our CPU as good as possible and especially also keep our base frequency as high as we can on the current CPU which we are using. This is exactly where Quick CPU comes in clutch and you can get by the way from my official website guys under fps boost just simply scroll down until you can find the post with the same name and the same thumbnail and from there you can get it and once you get it then on your pc guys you're just simply going to go through the installation process launch the tool and this is how it's going to look like we have first of all all the core stats of our current cpu for me it's right now i9 13th gen we have the temperature clock utilization and everything and what's super important guys is our base frequency because what we want to avoid now is that we have any sort of part course and frequency scaling on the highest possible what we want to make sure in the first place is actually go under system power plan and select the one which you are using as of right now guys yeah this is the one which i usually use here on my pc for some of you it's probably going to be on balance this is why i left it on there or maybe something like power saving just let me make sure to select the highest one which is available for you something like high performance or automotive performance or for me here a custom one which i use so therefore i'm going to keep it on that one and then you can already see now guys once we go over here now to core parking you want to make sure to put it all the way to the right side to 100 percent to avoid that any of your cpu cores are actually parked you could see i had previously here right now i had power saving or balance enable and you can see 13 or 14 of my cores were parked i still didn't apply here now that i actually select the one which i already fully optimized and this is exactly what you want to avoid that you have any possibly parked cores because those are just not working at the current time due to like power savings mode or they're just simply disabled you know so therefore make sure to put your core parking all the way to the right side in order to make sure that none of your cores are parked frequency scaling gonna keep up to 100 percent as well so that all of your cores are gonna have at least a base frequency of your CPU. For me, it's here right now 3 gigahertz and my real-time frequency is 4.69 gigahertz. If we put our frequency scaling all the way to the right side, we can make sure that it's at least running at 3 gigahertz, which is going to be super important, especially for a CPU intense game like Fortnite. Then the turbo boost, you're gonna make sure to as well put all the way here to the right side to the highest possible 100% and performance as well. Then we're going to click just simply here onto apply and make sure to click onto OK. Then you can close the tool itself. Go into your Windows search bar, just simply type in that power until you can find edit power plan. Click here onto power options on the top and really make sure that you have selected the following power plan where you optimize everything for. You can see for me, it's right now the send graphics one. So I'm chilling 100%, close this and we're already done with the first step. And for this next step, guys, we're going to take a look at the best launch options for Fortnite in chapter for season two which are going to improve overall your performance and also make sure that fortnite can utilize all of your cores and basically the full power of your system all you guys can do in the first place is click onto your name and then go under settings then just simply scroll down a little bit until you can actually find fortnite here under manage games you're going to open it up and in there it says now here additional comment line argument you're going to make sure to check that one and in here you're going to paste the following comments which are in the description of the video first of all land play then no splash no texture streaming and use all available cores a combination of all of these here is going to result in the best performance possible you can get in Fortnite and don't use any of the other ones. I know there are a few more ones but they don't really work anymore after chapter one so therefore those are the only ones which actually make sense to apply. Once you're done with applying all of these here click again onto the arrow so it actually gets saved in there and then go back into Fortnite and try to launch it and see that you get better performance. And for the last step guys we're going to take a look at quick memory tester where we can actually scan and test our RAM on our PC in real time and search for any issues and search if we have any errors on our RAM stick itself guys you can even put in here how many loops you want to do I would recommend you to do at least two loops here guys and you can by the way get the full tool here on my official discord discord.gg slash stripes once you're verified on the discord guys there should be under video related FPS boost packs and from there you can get quick memory tester once you get it on your PC go through the installation process and should look exactly like this here as mentioned just simply put it here onto two loops guys and go into start the test and then you can see here it's going to check the writing speed of your RAM it's going to check the reading speed and basically anything which could somehow be interrupted with your RAM. Because what a lot of people don't know, sometimes having invalid bytes on your RAM can already cause stutter crashes and all that stuff. And you can see here, bad bytes, we have zero. So therefore our RAM is totally fine. The RAM which I'm right now using is pretty much brand new DDR5 RAM, so I wasn't expecting anything. But if you're maybe using something like DDR3 RAM or pretty early DDR4 RAM, you know there might be some issues after some time. If you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. This would have made so, so much. And if you still have any more questions, always feel free to ask me them down in the comment section below. And don't forget to check out the two videos which are right now on screen.